everybody, T1 Glister Elf here with Can some French mistake. She and I are going to be playing the last Dark Souls game. We've beaten all of the bosses in the base game of Dark Souls 1. We've beaten all the bosses in the base game of Dark Souls 2. We forgot our drinks. <laughs> Oops. Well, we may take a, a break in a bit to go get our drinks. But yeah, so this is uh, the last one. They didn't make any more after Dark Souls 3, so once we beat this is going to we will be good. We will be good to go. So at the very least, we're going to try to beat all the bosses in the main game for this one. Which means the hardest one for us will be Nameless Game. This is actually the only one that I have the DLC for. Well, I have Dark Souls Remastered, but we played it prepared to die. Alright, time for us to do a new game. Alright, so just like our previous ones, we're going to name the character Evangelist. I've seen this before. I'll get you a drink. Be right back. The transitory lands of the lords of Cinder converge. Tell me what you think after this. Sludge. It's the sludge monster. The not so super friends. Big boy. be one of the easier bosses for us, I hope. Explorer class in this game. 
So let me just look through really quickly. Mercenary, warrior. Ooh, act. We haven't done a warrior yet. Hmm. Herald. I guess that's the equivalent of the explorer in this game. Heralds have a little bit of healing, but everyone gets that healing later on. Thief. <laughs> We're a ninja evangelist. Assassin, actual ninja, I guess. Um, sorcerer, I was about to say cleric. Come on, Jay. Sorcerer, it looks like a cleric. It's a white robe. <laughs> so, I don't know. Pyromancer? Nice, we look like T Hawk from Street Fighter, I guess. Um, cleric, who gets to wield more miracles to heal stuff. And deprived. No, we're not playing the deprived. <laughs> this is the one that starts out with the lowest stats. So, uh, no. I say no. Now, we have, we have done the knight. So on the one hand, there is a side of me that wants to keep consistent and play the knight again, but we played a different one in the second game, so we could do yet another one in this game. I don't remember. A mercenary is high dex, but other than that, I'm not sure. Uh, warrior is giant axe, which is, turns out pretty good. 16 strength, so if we're going for a strength character, I mean, this one's probably where we'd like to be. Uh, the knight has uh, 13 strength. Yeah, so high strength on the warrior. Herald? No. <laughs> what is the deal with this one? I don't even know. I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, thief is going to be very high dex and high luck for some reason. Luck is a stat in this game. Assassin is what I played in my first playthrough. They have a good mix of dexterity and intelligence. And for some reason, I'm reasonably high luck. Uh, they're also the one that speedrunners use because they start off with a spell that actually helps for speedrunning, but that won't really help us. We're not going to be speedrunning this game. We haven't played a sorcerer before. We could, do you know what a sorcerer is? We shoot things with magic from far away. Um, and then Pyromancer is kind of the same thing, except instead of shooting them with magic, we shoot them with fire from far away. Uh, but for the Sorcerer, Pyromancer, and Cleric, for all of these, we can switch into them later on by picking up their special item. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I look at the Knight, they should have a decently high uh, mind faith. That's not very high. Mercenary has 10 intelligence. Warrior has 9 faith. Uh, okay. Herald is 13 faith. Okay, so that's your shit. Uh, thief should be good. Intelligence, same for the Assassin. Uh, very high intelligence on the sorcerer. Um, still, when we were doing Dark Souls 2, we played, we started out as an explorer and we were wait, just beating enemies with our sword until a certain point where we had lightning and we beat them with lightning. Do you remember when we threw lightning bolts at them? Okay, that's kind of what the sorcerer is like. The sorcerer is kind of like that except we wouldn't be able to use the sword very well. The warrior is the opposite. They don't have magic, but they have a big ol' axe and lots of strength. So when they wield it, oh, they're big and strong. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think we should do? I, I agree. If we decide that we would like to add spells later on, than we can by putting levels into them. But we don't have to. Might give me a quick second place. This will give us three different classes for our three different playthroughs. Alright, and then our burial gift. Well, this one's interesting. I don't remember where we get the life frame in this, but I don't think it's very far from the start, so we're not getting that. Uh, I know. Divine Blessing, no. Hidden Blessing, no. Black Fire Bombs. We're going to try to beat the boss without cheesing it with Fire Bombs. Fire Gym's not bad, but we can get one early on, early enough. And aside from helping us out with a couple of early bosses, it's not really all that useful. Sovereignless Soul. This is a uh, 2,000 soul, so it will let us start at a slightly higher level than if we didn't have it. Rusted Gold Coin improves our item discovery, which we don't need. Cracked Red Eye Orb, but we aren't going to be in vain, so that doesn't help us. This is usually the most helpful one. 
Young White Branch. But we're intentionally not going to pick that one. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, because this will let us go and explore and find the person. But long story short, there's going to be someone shooting at us unless we carry this branch around with us. But if we go up to them and ask them very nicely, then they'll just give one to us. So we don't have to act, we don't have to get shot at. So I say we go with the Sovereign of the Soul. It'll let us start at a slightly higher level than if we didn't have it. Not much, only a little bit, but it might help a bit. But I'll leave it up to you. I think we should. Okay, fair enough. Everything, every one of the items in this will be able to get pretty easily. It's not like Dark Souls 1 and there's an item that we can't get very easily. Now, aside from that, now we get to customize our character. Uh, it should be build first. Let's make sure. I remember you did early upper body for Dark Souls 2 and 1, I think. Yeah, for all, both of them. So this means the legs are normal, but the top is really big. Like she's got extra muscle or something. And then this is the opposite. The legs are big, but the top is normal. Oh, look at my muscles! <laughs> uh, face presets let me switch out. Here, you can do this part. You just press down until you find one you like.
I like your Yoshi shirt, by the way. You're welcome. I don't even know what that one's supposed to look like. Huh. Some of these just look like you got a big scratch. That one looks like it's a sword. It is. It is a sword. Oh, oh. Raise the sun! <laughs> Was that not in two? Did I miss that? I just saw that. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Those are texts from other parts of the game. Snake. Fluidity, I think it's called. Olive branch. Or symbols. Uh, moon? Is that a bit of something? Angel wing, or bird wing. Dragon, darken, wings and an axe, <laughs> wing, sun, scar, another scar. I don't know. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. And then we can pick its color. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Praise the sun! I think if we did these colors. Oh, I thought it was going to blend in too much, but no, nope, it's departs. I'll let you pick. The ones on the top are in like normal skin colors, and then the ones on the bottom are like blue, yellow, purple, other blue, red. Those are not normal skin colors. That's the same uh, color that we used on the horse when we played Dark Souls 2, our horse tattoo. That's pretty cool. You just pick whatever you would like the most. I like this. I agree. It is a sun after all. Alright. Here we go. Evangeline got a tattoo change between games as it turned out. Sadly, I think it only lets us take one tattoo. I don't think we can do more. Unfortunately. Uh, well, other than that, uh, I'm going to go with no. Oh, we could change your hair. Yeah. You, oh, oh, that's right. You had a uh, someone that we did the other games. Was it pigtails or? Yeah, I think it was pigtails, right? Yeah. Uh, in Dark Souls. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. I think that we did pig is it pigtails. Yeah, it was pigtails. You can look through some of the others too. <laughs> Ponytail. Oh, bald. Let's not do bald though. I have two objections: bald and the Petrus hair. But other than that, I like that. That one's pretty good. We can do that one. Yeah. Okay. And then last one. Hair color. Are we doing the new hair color? One looks more like you? Yeah. You have like a brownish blonde, but mostly brown. Yeah, like that. I think. That's about right. It shows up a little bit weirdly on our TV, but for us on there, yeah, well, it's about, it's about right, I think. Okay. And <laughs> I don't think you have a beard. No. Fun fact, though, fun story. She used to have beard in me. She used to be really uh, into my having a beard. Save to favorites. Oh, we don't have any favorites. Yeah, let's save that one. All right. So now, in the future, we have it. We have it. Right away. Alright, you ready? Okay. Here comes our adventure. You do the honors. Thank you. You're welcome. It'll take you a second. There it goes.
die. But once again, I need you on the bumper, but in this game, later on, I will actually need you on the trigger for some parts. Here, let me show you something. So just like normal, this is our bumper attack. It's like this. Yeah, nice. But, with your trigger attack, you can actually charge by holding it down and it gives you a lot more power. How cool is that? That's really cool. Yep. For right now, though, I'll just need you on the bumper, please. And we are going to two-hand our weapon because we get more damage out to it. Ready? Do it! I didn't even have to tell you. I said do it, but you had already either pressed it or you were just about to press it. This is another tiny little soul. Gives us some more souls we can pop later on. Oh, and also there's a new area out there, but we'll get it'll take us a while to get there. <laughs> Unfortunately our character cannot jump. Oh, and these are messages to let me out of play. Alright, see there's one right above our head, right there. Alright. Get him! We are very strong, Angeline. Yeah! Passion as displays. All right, um, wait a minute. What? It might help if I actually remembered how to do the, uh, it's been a while since I've played this. Let me try something out with this. So L2 should be parry. Nope. Nope, it's not. Oh, yes it is. All right. All right what is it for this one? I'm sorry, I, I'm going to look up. See, our, our weapons have special moves. Warcry, temporarily boost attack. Okay, okay. Alright, I'll need you back on this. There's going to be an enemy right around the corner here. Hit! Ow! It's okay. Uh, it attacked before I thought it would, so it's my bad. Still on it. Yep, good. Because there's an archer. So that's the smallest one. Coming around from this side, so we don't have to do it as many at once. Get him! Get him! Yo! He did a lot of it. One! did a lot of attacks there. I forgot how many attacks that guy did. Alright, now this this enemy up here is guarding an item. I do not know that we are going to be able to get it. But we're not going to kill this guy until we beat that deer. Um, yeah, we'll wait. There's an item right up there. But I think that you and I would have a bit of a hard time killing him. That's a, do you remember the crystal lizards that would be? No. The, oh yeah, it's been a while since we fought them. There's these teeny tiny little lizards that run around on the ground, and if we don't get them in time, they disappear. Now do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, that's like the, the granddaddy version of them. That's the big one. Turn back. Yeah. We'll, don't worry, we'll go back and get that thing later. Just not yet. I don't think that we're ready for it yet. You can actually get it to fly and fling itself off the cliff right there. That's always fun. Yeah. Alright, so we lit our bonfire. We got our Estus back. Restus. Restus. Alright. This one will follow us. until after we beat this first boss.
your fault. It locked onto the wrong enemy. Get him! It locked on through the wall for some reason. Get him! Yes. What happened? No, I, I believe you. I just I don't know why it didn't work. There's gonna be a couple guys down here. One has a crossbow. We just need to wait on the dude with the shield. No, he's not coming any closer. Wait. Get him! Not get one! I'm trying to follow yeah. that's why I take a lot. Yep. We just want one. What? Our shield blocked it. Get it. Ooh. Fireballs. Is it worth it? Probably not. Actually, if we're one-shotting them with one hand, they, let's just keep one hand in there. Sounds good to me. Bangelin, you are a super good kid. Thank you. You're welcome. You did make it. You made it. Ready? Once we drop off, one, when I say it'll be one, two, three, go, okay? One, two, three, go. Like that. And get. Alright. We're not going to do the fight just yet. Because we're actually down one of our Estes. We're going to run back. Now we picked up all the items in this area. Okay. Ready? We have a fight coming up.
<laughs> yes, he was. He gets a lot slower, but he also gets a lot more reach when he transforms. That was cool. He first loves try. It so bad. Yeah, me too. First try, man. <laughs> I did not. On my first try playing this, now granted, this is a two player one controller, and we were relying on me for the movement. But, on my first time, I did not beat him. On, the, on my first try. I, I died. <laughs> How many tries did it take you to do it? I, not too many, but I don't remember. Oh, get it. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's oh, that was so cool. Yeah. I want to get past those guys. Careful. Just one. Ooh, well, we still got hit by that guy. And we actually have more HP now. Get <laughs> Woo! Off the cliff. Almost. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> They both fell off my cliff. Sure did. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know why I'm bothering to pick up all this stuff. We don't. Strictly speaking, we don't need it, but it's cool. Alright, so once we get to the bonfire up here, we'll be able to level and care for them. Get it. Get it. Keep going. Keep going. Go down. Gesture. 
and then she blushes or something, smiles a little bit. If you bow, she bows perfectly in sync with you. Yeah. So if for no other reason, the fact that she reacts to your gestures means that she's the best to me. <laughs> also, I like her voice actor. You never actually learned her name, though, like you do the, the one in Dark Souls 2, Shanalot. And in Dark Souls 3, you did learn the name of one of the fire keepers, but it's the one that never moves or talks much. Alright, this is the depression, right? Do you know how in every Dark Souls game there's one person near the beginning that's always really depressed? Yeah, that's this guy. I call it, I don't, I think his name is Hawkwood, but I just call him Depression Knight <laughs> because he's so depressed. Ah, another one roused from the sea of death. Like you. We are not alone. We are kindled, are worthless. And if you die, you have to. He's not kindled. Get in connections. <laughs> and have our seek the laws of sin to turn them to their golden thrones.
takes a little bit of step over in this direction. Uh, there's a Titanite shard. Actually, that wouldn't be bad. Let's see if we can go get it. Alright, mesh! There's a dog that just ran right by us. Alright. Speaking of, there's a dog. section I'm going to need you to I'm going to run and I need you to attack right as soon as we get to the top. Now oh crap it's too slow. No 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 it's too slow. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. I, I that was my bad we have to go one. Uh should probably wait. I don't think we can kill this guy no He is guarding some items though. Yeah. I think that we'll die if we try to go after him now. I don't think that we're strong enough. Unfortunately. I don't think that we are. Hmm. Let's level up our weapon. Still 
Okay, that didn't go quite as planned. Get him. That's enough, that's enough. You were just going after the wrong, uh, the wrong one. Now we can do it. Stands up this way and lock it. Get That's it. So now we have a bow. Eventually, we'll end up using that bow to uh, deal with some. Oh, I got close. 
there's a piece isn't actually useful, it doesn't do anything to help us, but it's cool to see. It's a good thing he's holding still for us, the dragon. Otherwise we'd be in trouble. I think it's a heat. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh yeah. Oops. Just a minute. 